Okay, our analysis. So I'll just quickly touch on this. This is more what what would be covered in the uh, dynamic analysis course, um, which you should definitely check out. Was that was that part of the school of thought? The dynamic? Okay. Cool. So you already have to check it out. For those who aren't in the school of sock portion, that has been posted to the website now. The content for that. So check it out. When we talk about uh, analysis, and actually this this plays in with reverse engineering as well. Um, what what does our analysis system look like? And a big question on that actually is. Uh, Physical versus virtual. Um, there are benefits and, and cons to both. With your physical system, it, it is a, an actual physical system um, that takes a little more time to to clean up. Although there's software out there, um, blanking right now on the name of some of it, but there's there's software out there that you can actually deep freeze. That's one of them, where you can have it installed on your system, and you can actually um, tell it, okay, at my next reboot, you know, don't save any of the changes that that happens to this system between the last reboot and now, um, and and it will um, go through and uh, and not save any of those changes. Uh, having said that, it's uh, also detectable. Um, but bare metal gives you the the chance to have it see what the malware is like when it runs on a on a real as it were system. Um, when we talk about virtual systems, um, any type of uh, virtual machine software is going to be detectable. It's just a matter of, in terms of malware analysis, is the malware trying to detect that, and if so, is it going to act differently because of that? Um, can be anywhere from a simple checking if you know program files, VMware tools is is on the disk, to checking processes in memory, to checking the um, I/O port that VMware uses for its uh, communication with VM tools. Um, but those are things that you can actually check for when you're doing your reverse engineering. We'll talk a little bit more about that, I think, tomorrow.